Okay, we've got the tent up. The tent is erected. Coming inside, as you can see, we've got uh, nothing in here at the moment. Actually, down on the floor, we've got uh, what we call a sacrificial tarp, tarpaulin, just to uh, all the rough feet coming in, all that sort of rubbish coming in here doesn't destroy the floor of the tent. And underneath the floor of the tent, we've got another tarpaulin with a um, painter's drop sheet to uh, protect it. It's pretty rocky around here. Let's give you a bit of a look at the, uh, the ground here, if I can get in and zoom in a bit. It's, uh, it's gold prospecting country around here, so, uh, or near gold prospecting country. So you can see all that strata, strata type rock. Very hard to hammer pegs into. Okay, it's had a bit of an issue with a, um, a puncture on the, um, on the uh, way up the last little bit of the track coming into here. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is all empty. This will be uh, all the bands down here in the front section of the tent will be all our um, storage and cooking area. The cables could progress. Well, normally, the second one will be where the first one is. Is that right? The, the top one will come down. The top one will be where it is. Yeah. 25. That'll be 10. That'll be 10. That normally would be 10. Yeah. Because I've cut the cables along the pretty long as they get where, the lead where, the four, where the 3.4 is. That'll be the 5. Yeah, the 5. As we say. Well, you can't go much higher. You can only go... Not if it's going to miss the other bushes. Yeah. But, yeah, well, maybe about the... I mean, you can go higher by 25 centimetres rather than bringing those down. Put yeah, that one up. Put that one up. You can only go... No, you wouldn't even go 25. You can only go... Oh, oh yeah. Have a look. Oh. Saturday the 16th. About 8.20 in the morning, we've just been, um, just got up, got ourselves ready, we arrived here yesterday as you'll probably see by the earlier footage, and uh, we got all the antennas up yesterday which was interesting for us, we're normally doing it this morning, so at the moment if you can look around here, just go around here, this is the, uh, this space here will be for 6 metres, I'll move along here, where we've got some, um, 23, 2.4, 3 and 5 gigs, and then coming around, we've changed the tables around a little bit now, we've got tables on each side of the tent, and that will be our uh, 2 metre station set up here, and uh, coming along with all this stuff we've got to set up, so you'll get a good idea once it's all set up, the uh, 70 centimetre station is partially assembled, that will happen yesterday, and uh, yeah, just out the front here in the tent is uh, just a bit of a storage area over there and on the opposite side here is uh, another table where we do all our food preparation. How are you going, Jack? Ah. I'm going okay, Peter. What are you up to? Or just tidying up. Plenty of time to tidy up today. Sound check. Bit of a problem with the old rotator. I tended to cop a bit of water after the last episode, the Springfield Day shocking weather. And uh, as you can see by the, uh, the balls that are here, they are pretty bad. Been sitting there for what was that? That was November, late November. Yeah, not sure how the water got in there, but uh, it's in there unfortunately, and um, it's causing us heaps of grief with one of the rotators. We've actually got four of these rotators in all this sand, and uh, yeah, it looks like um, they may need a bit of uh, maintenance, I think. trying to work out this one's not not registering at all with the uh, the rotator head so we've eliminated everything right down to the rotator bodies and we're just working on that at the moment probably the motor's seized up or something just looking inside the rotator here not looking too healthy unfortunately these rotators only come out contesting they're not used at home at all and um, 
Yeah, that last one will show you where the culprit is. Just here. Zoom in on that a little bit. You can see that's uh, pretty bad. It's been sitting in a pool of water for a couple of months, unfortunately. Something you couldn't really, uh, you couldn't really work out. Only when you bring it out next time to try it. You would never expect something like that. They've yeah, both go. got continuity on both of them, Peter. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. There's black to red. Yes. Five arms. Oh, that's good. Well, that's a good sign. Alright. Well, that's 1296 yet. Uh, well, I didn't get that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, so, give I, I'll give you a, give him a different one. VK3 uh, MCR. And uh, I'll give him a number 59015. And his number to me was 59011. Is that right? Well, I'm actually pretty pleased that she's able to speak with you very well. I, uh, I find it's quite stable when I use it for uh, other... Uh, uh, other purposes, uh, there, uh, over. Yeah, Roger, okay, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> All right, uh, catch you later, VK3 uh, portable clear. Cheers, Peter, catching to VK3 NX, VK3 clear. It's a down east microwave, synthesised, transverter, dead on 150. That brings me up to a 31 over here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times eight, ninety-five. I'm up to nine hundred and fifty points. Nine hundred and fifty points in two point four. Yeah, QSL is five nine double oh seven. Uh, and my number is five nine zero seven six. Five nine zero seven six, yes sir. Sunset. I'm just taking a video, Mike, of what? It, uh, of you operating. Too bad oh, at the moment. Uh, uh, it's all good uh, stuff. Thank you, Phil Dave. 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 Thank you